Another of the benefits that come actually from the physical level of fasting, as medical experts have pointed out, that when a person fasts, it affects the endomorphin system in the body. That it causes the brain to produce more endomorphins, which are the basic elements which cause us to feel good. You know, where we uh, feel a sense of well-being. This is from the production of endomorphins in the system. Fasting causes the body to produce more. So it is good in terms of giving a person a sense of feeling good. And again, for those people who are depressed, this is very, very important. Also, medical experts have pointed out that fasting causes the body to start to consume the cholesterols. So it reduces the level of cholesterols in our systems. And as those people who are involved in weight loss and weight gain and all these type of things, dieting and that, they know it. a lot of it is related to cholesterol. So uh, fasting has been employed by many of the various dietary systems in order to, to uh, decrease weight. In Islam, I mean, our main goal is not to decrease weight. I mean, because you shouldn't have gained weight in the first place. You know, where people have, have warped the practice of Ramadan, uh, where it becomes a month of feasting instead of fasting, uh, you find people ending the month kilos more than they started the month. Of course, that, that's because they've, they've misunderstood. They're not following the principles. They're following the ritual, but not the true spiritual uh, guiding principles in fasting. So what weight loss takes place, and there should be weight loss, what weight loss takes place is healthy weight loss. It's not fasting to an extreme where it starts to become damaging to the system, but fasting in a controlled way where it is beneficial to the system.